Hi and welcome back to the cabin. As you can see I'm not at the cabin and you're probably wondering what's going on. Well if you didn't see my previous video uh, I actually drove my truck out to the edge of my property. So I'm not going to take it up through the woods to my property. There's just a little too much snow out there. So I'm going to take this stuff in, get the cabin uh, started to warm up, a nice big fire in the fireplace, and then uh, come back down with a sled and haul the rest of my stuff up in. So let's go ahead and uh, get to the cabin. And by the way, the cabin is, I'd say, two to 300 yards behind the camera. Right there's my cabin. Yeah, I think this snow would have been just a little too much to drive a truck on. So I'm glad I parked it down at the bottom of the hill. It's two degrees inside the cabin and negative five degrees outside according to the thermometers I have. According to my truck, it is about five degrees above zero Fahrenheit. And that's only about 300 yards down that way. So not sure exactly what temperature it is, but I'm probably gonna guess it's negative something as cold as it feels. So let me get a fire started and go and get rest of this stuff out of the truck. Okay, I got a little fire going. Let's see if it catches and stays lit for a while. I don't know if you can see these little tracks right there, but a mouse just ran in there. Crossed over and ran in there. It was pretty cool. Tomorrow I'm going to come down and get this and uh, carry it up or drag it up to the, the cabin. This is going to be my door going into the power shed. I believe that mountain straight up there is called Four Riker. It's like the third tallest mountain in Alaska, maybe second tallest mountain. And Denali is just over there. It's actually right through the woods there. Last item to take up is a battery. I'm gonna hook this battery up to my remote control uh, generator because the battery it has now is just a um, one of those little like motorcycle batteries and it doesn't have the cold cranking amps to get it to uh, kick over when it's this cold out. So I'm hoping this one will. It's a regular car battery and it has 550 cold cranking amps.
I wonder what kind of tracks these are. Can't tell, they're a little bit too old. I'm out here at the power shed and before it gets too dark, I want to get this uh, battery hooked into my generator right here because this little one is just too small. It doesn't have the cold cranking amps to turn it over when it's cold outside. But first let's uh, take a look and see what the batteries are showing. It's been uh probably three four, four it's been about four weeks since i've been out and they're showing 13.4 uh volts so i'm happy with that let's turn on the inverter and see what it says oh let's use the remote right here output watt zero Volts are 13.1 volts and output is zero. I'm happy with that. Let's get the battery hooked up for the generator. All right, the light works. They both do. So first thing, I got to clear a little space for this. I'm gonna just move all this stuff to the back side here. Hopefully I can put the battery right there. I wasn't thinking about getting terminals for this, so I think what I'm going to do is just, for the time being, uh, wrap the ends of the wires around and uh, electrical tape it. What I think I'm going to do is cut this end off, cut back the wire, wrap the wire around and electrical tape it to this. And then I'll bolt these two together and electrical tape all this up. I only need that amperage to get the generator started. So I'm hoping this will work.
That should be good. Now let's see if I can cut these ends off. First light. No, this kind of scares me. Let's see if it'll start by remote. Doesn't look like it's gonna start, but let's see if uh, just by holding it, if it'll start. Well, it doesn't look like it's gonna work. just won't work in cold weather especially this cold of weather and it has gas and everything it, the tank is half full
turn that off and conserve electricity tonight. It's Saturday morning now and I tried starting the generator again and it still won't start up. Any of you uh, mechanically inclined people, small engine repair people out there, if you have any ideas, uh, let me know. The one thing I'm, I am going to try is buying a brand new spark plug and putting in it the next time I come out. The oil is good. Uh, it has gas. I've used it a lot uh, this summer and fall, so it's not like it's been sitting for a year or anything without ever being run. I've used it a lot this summer and fall, so functionally it should be working. But uh, yeah, if you have any... Uh, suggestions leave them in the comments below as i said a little bit ago it is saturday morning and i had plans on staying till sunday but uh as you can see with the sun behind me there's a lot of clouds rolling in and it's supposed to start snowing here in a few hours so i want to get my truck out of here before it starts snowing and i'm just going to head back to town but uh one last thing i have to do is i gotta take this sliding glass door that I have and I take it up to the property so I'm gonna take it out and drag it up door is finally up here and I put it right over here no snow is really gonna fall on it or anything so it should be good plus I'll check it probably each time I come up here I plan on putting it as a door for right here but it's just too cold to be working on stuff like that today so it's just gonna sit there Bringing the door to the property is done. Now I'm gonna pack up and haul my stuff down to the truck and get out of here before the snow comes. I'm all packed up. I'm gonna head down to the truck. I just remote started it. I can't hear if it actually started up or not, but I think it did. The remote said it did. So I'm gonna head down to the truck and head on out of here. Thanks everyone. And thanks to all the new subscribers. It is greatly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and also don't forget to check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Rumble pages, all under the name Alaska's Last Frontier Cabin. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Well, I made it to the truck. Let's see if I can get out of here. I'm all packed up, let's head on out. 